have lived in Midland for 47 years since I was seven. Ever since I've been here, there's very little for the children to do, very little places for them to go. You know, where you trust them to go, number one, and where they're going to be safe, where they're going as well. I think that's the biggest thing in the community is the kids not having anything to do in the center giving them something to do. The center has been there, has been here in our town approximately seven years. They have the clothing bank, they have the food bank, they have the basketball camps for the children, uh, they have the super week, which was just a couple weeks ago. Um, they take the kids on field trips. And not only that, but they spend um, outside time from the center with the children. There's there's drinks, there's like Capri Suns, there's Cheez-Its. Uh, I mostly play air hockey and sometimes I go over to the little basketball hoop and dunk. I usually go outside play some football with a giant group of people who just split up into even teams and then some people just join and you know we don't know where it came from. Because you know that we play basketball there too. So they just hop in. At the center I've experienced really like nice people. There's really nice people there. Like Jen and Corey. They are great with kids. Like if I could choose an aunt and an uncle for my kids, it would definitely be Jen and Corey. I just love their presence. You know, every time I see them, it's always a smile. Hey buddy, how are you? I, I like that. Because he always jokes around with us and he tell, and he sings really funny and stuff like that. Well, I've been going to the center since they opened. It, it helps me out a lot with my, with my daughter. They have all the things that she likes to eat, so uh, I, I, like, I love it. Well, the center has helped me a lot when I feel like there's nothing to, I don't want to say look forward to, but there's no means of getting help. I know Jen's there. All I have to do is text her and she's, she's going to open the door and say, you know, come up, we'll help you. You know what I love about the center when I walk in there? All the pictures that they have hanging on all the walls of all the children. They take, they have pictures galore of all the kids and all the activities and all the ministries that they're in. And it's just, it's just awesome. I think that with Jen and Corey, the kids have people to talk to if they need to. And if they didn't have them, maybe they wouldn't have anybody to talk to. The center of not being here, I think it would be a very big loss. Jen and Corey have truly dedicated herself to the ministry. When God called them to come, they didn't say, no, we're not going. They said, let's go. And that's awesome. And I always am so thankful that they didn't say no, and I'm very grateful that they did say yes.